hello hello my youtube family so this is dr lee i'm coming back again with another one of my videos and today i will be doing chapter four of the book the joy of signing so uh, we are going through this book with some of my church members i, I want to stress this is not an asl course this is just uh, members coming together of a church and we are reviewing vocabulary words. So we're using this book, The Draw of Signing, and I want to go through chapter four, which will deal with, uh, if I can get it in front of here, mental actions. Okay. All right. So with that, let's go ahead on and get started. I'm going to try to get my book propped up so that I can... Um, see it and I'm, let's fix my camera here bring it up a little bit okay so the first word um for mental action in chapter four has to do with the word mine so when we want to sign mine we take our index finger and we just point to our head mine um you can use it for mental for brain your mind when we want to say knowledge we're gonna use our four fingers and now you just point to your brain because that's where your knowledge is at, it's here. Knowledge, knowledge. If you don't know something, you go from your brain with, with your uh, hand here and then just out. Don't know, don't know. And I shake my head no while I'm doing this sign. Don't know, don't know. Okay, so you want to use your facial expression um, while you're doing this sign. Shake your head, no, point to your head, and don't know. It's like I don't have it in my mind. Don't know, don't know, or didn't know, something like that. Okay, the next word, changing the page here, is to remember. So when I remember, I want to go with my thumb, kind of making an A sign here and bring it down to your thumb. Remember. So you're kind of stamping whatever it is you got from your brain, you're stamping it in place. I remember. Remember. Okay. Remember. Forgot. If you forgot something, it's from your brain and it's just gone. Forgot. Just kind of rub your hand across your forehead and then grab it. Forgot. Forgot. I personally, when I'm signing this word, I shake my head to also say I don't have it. Forgot. Forgot. Okay. When I want to memorize something, I want to keep it. So I'm right here at my forehead with my index finger, and then I just bring my hand back and catch it. Memorize. I'm, I got it. I remember it. I memorize it from my head to here. I got it. Memorize. Memorize. Okay. When I want to remind somebody to do something. So a lot of these signs in this mental action, we're going to see we're going to be using a lot of the A sign uh, hand movements. But when I want to remind somebody something, I'm going to go in this forehead area and I just kind of twist my thumb, kind of like making an A. And I just kind of go around and remind. Okay. Just a small little twist. Okay. Remind. Okay. All right. Remind. Or, F O R, for. Index finger at your forehead and you just bring it out for, for. A lot of times we'll see this at church when we want to say forever, forever lasting. You'll see the signers do this and then go out into eternity for like everlasting. But for, for, okay, why for, for, okay? Let's kind of review a little bit before we go further. So the first sign that we did was mine. Where's your mind? Forehead. 
mind. I don't know something. I forgot. I don't know it. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Very good. And what happens when you do know it? You do have the knowledge. I got it. I know. I know. All right. Great. Let's um, look at the word remember. Remember. You want to stamp it in place. How would you do remember? Remember. Remember. Very good. Oh, man. I forgot it. I forgot it. Forgot. Okay. It's not there. It's gone. I forgot it. I want to memorize something. I have to learn my timetables. I have to memorize two times two is four. Two times three is six. I need to memorize this. From my brain, index finger, catch it out. My brain, index finger, catch it out. Okay. Oh, can you remind me to go to the grocery store and get milk? How would you do remind? Can you remind me to go to the grocery store and get milk? Remind. Again, the A and just kind of twist it. Remind. Remind. All right. And the last word that we covered is for. 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 Okay. You all are doing very good. Very good. Let's look at because. Because we can say since, but because. I'm going to go with my index finger across the forehead and then just kind of come out. Because. Because. Cross the forehead and then just close it up in your hand. Because. Okay. Let's say I need to meditate. I need to think about something. I need to consider if I want to take a trip. Um, if I want to change jobs, I really need to think about it. So I'm going to take my index finger and, you know, I need to kind of mull it around in my brain. I need to really, really think about it over. So I'm going to my index finger and just kind of go round and round in a circle. I need to think about it. Think about it, okay? Reason is very similar to think, consider. Reason starts with the letter R. So I have my R, and now I'm just going to move that around. I need the reason, 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 okay? If I want to wonder about something I'm concerned, I would take two index fingers. You know, this is really bothering me and I'm gonna kind of go round and round in a circle. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering, but we would use two index fingers to kind of go around, okay? So sometimes people get this one confused. If I wanna think, it's one index finger. If I have to, mm, I've got reasons, I'm, I'm thinking about it, I need a reason, just the R. If I need to wonder, I'm concerned, is really, really moving around in my head, okay? Then I'm going to use two index fingers. If I want to say, what is the purpose of something? What did you mean when you say that, when you said something? I'm going to have a V and it's in my hand and I put it against my, my, my left hand and sometimes we just kind of turn it for what, what did you mean? What's, what's the purpose of it? Okay. Okay. What is the purpose of, of this? So purpose, what did, what did you, you mean? Okay. So this is purpose. I've seen it both ways like this, and then I've seen it like that. 
purpose. All right. Clever. Remember somebody's clever or smart that's going to be in the brain. I'm going to use my one index finger and just kind of scroll up. They got a lot of sense up in, up in here, in their brain. They are clever. Okay. Clever. You can also use this middle finger. We call the middle finger like our feeling finger. Um, so if somebody's clever, they're intelligent, they're brilliant, you'll see people do like here because they got feelings and then they'll bring it out because they have so much knowledge that they can share. Clever, smart, okay, brilliant. We'll see them do this. I don't really see them doing this one with the index finger up, but I do see more people doing this. Take the, the information you have in your brain and then just kind of bring it out, okay? Clever. If I wanna say somebody is ignorant, um, not knowledgeable, I would make my V hand shape and then just bring it up to the forehead. And I shake my head and kind of give like a unconcerned look on my face. They are ignorant. And I just kind of do it like that. But I put some type of facial expression with it. If I want to say a person is stupid or dumb, which is not words we should use, but it's it's in our book. Again, you're going to have the A handshake. You want the palm facing in and you just bring it toward the head. It's like nothing is there. And again, I shake my head no to means not there. Okay. Ignorant with the V. Dumb, stupid, which we don't want to say, but palm facing toward the head, not there. So the opposite of that, if I want to say someone is wise, again, your information is in your head. So I'm going to take my little like uh, X, okay, the X finger, and I'm going to go down here in the center of my head wise they have some information there they are wise all right now philosophy if i want to say um you know they have a lot of information they have they're really really good with philosophy they can break things down i will take my p hand shape and again the information is in your head so i just go down the center of my head where my brain is with, with the P, philosophy, philosophy. If I wanna say hope, I'm gonna take both hands and do this for hope, hope. Now, I've seen some people do it right up at the head. I've seen them do it right here, hope, hope. So some people will do it right up here, hope, both hands, and I've seen it down here, hope, okay both ways and I'm, I'm, it's both is acceptable in uh, the deaf culture. If I have an idea, so idea starts with the letter I. So you just kind of have it at your brain and bring it out. This is an idea. At your brain, bring it out, idea. Suppose, for suppose I'm gonna take my eye and then it's just right here by the eye handshake and put it by your eye and say suppose and just kind of tap it suppose okay suppose we went to the beach suppose okay suppose if i have an opinion opinion starts with the letter o okay for opinion o so I come here because my opinion I'm thinking about is coming from my brain and I just kind of bring it forward, opinion, opinion. If I have a concept, concept start with the letter C, so a C from my brain and I do what? Bring it forward, okay? So let's kind of go back and review a little bit to just kind of see how we are and where we're going. If I want to say somebody is smart, there are two ways that I can say that they're smart. 
what is the two ways? Okay, so we did it one way. What's the second way? Very good. I can either go up, smart, a lot of information. They're going to go up the ladder, smart, or here, smart. Very good. You did a good job. Okay, now what if I want to say a person has a lot of philosophy? They are very, very knowledgeable. Philosophy. Starts with the P. I take my P. I go down the head. Very good. Philosophy. Okay. What if I want to say someone is ignorant? They don't really understand what's going on. They are ignorant about this situation. They're ignorant. Very good. The V handshake, ignorant, and just put it up on your forehead. What if I want to say, I hope that I can go to Israel one day. I hope to go there. I expect to go there. How do I sign? Hope, 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 very good. Um, what about stupid? How do we sign stupid? A handshake and then they just don't have it, okay? What if the person is wise? They have a lot of wisdom, they're wise. X, and what do we do? Okay, X. Okay, they're, they're wise. Wow. I have an opinion about this. I have an opinion. How would I sign opinion? Very good. Very good. Opinion. I know some concepts. I have a concept. How would I sign concept? Okay. Concept. Concept. And what about suppose? Suppose. Suppose. And I don't know if I did idea. I have an idea about something. Idea. Idea. Okay, great. So we're we're moving right along. So let's get the next two pages. I would like to invent something. Maybe I can get on Shark Tank and make and get a deal with Mark Cuban. I want to invent something. What's the sign for invent? The four fingers to the head and just bring it out. I want to invent, invent something, invent invent okay i agree that we are going to learn these vocabulary words in this joy of signing textbook i agree with that from here to here we're on the same page our brains are together i agree okay i agree very good i disagree the brain, but now the fingers point to each other and I bring it apart. I bring it apart. We're not thinking together. We come apart, disagree here and apart. I've also seen disagree where they don't really touch the brain sometime in the deaf community. They just take the two fingers and they move it apart for, for disagree, come apart, okay? An enemy or your opponent, somebody who's against you, come apart, just like we disagree. We're not together. This is our enemy. And the sign for a person is straight down. So my enemy would be somebody who's against me that is a person. Okay. My enemy, my opponent. All right. Opposite. We're, we're not together, we're apart, all right? Understanding, I understand you. We are comprehending each other. I understand you. I understand, I understand, okay? I understand. Now, 
Um, if I don't understand, I would use the same sign, but this time I'm going to shake my head no. It's like no understand, don't understand. Understand? And I raise my eyebrows up. Understand? Because I'm asking a question. Understand? Don't understand. Don't understand. Understand me? Understand? Okay. So make sure that the eyebrows move up when you're asking a question. Uh, pay attention to your facial expression. Because the person that can't hear, if they are, are deaf, they're going to be looking for facial expression as well as with um, your hand signs and gestures, okay? Misunderstand, misunderstand. You're gonna have the V hand shape. You start at the forehead uh, with the index finger and then you move it to the middle finger. Misunderstanding, misunderstanding. V hand shape, index finger, to middle finger, okay. It's a it's a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Okay. We have a problem, so I'm gonna bend my middle finger and index finger on both hands and just kind of get them on each other. We have a problem. Okay. We have a problem. I've. Um, just kind of rub them against each other. We have a problem. Problem. Index finger, middle finger bend. We have a problem. Okay. Um, worry. I don't like for us to worry about learning these vocabulary words. We're going to take our time and just try to go through the book. So don't worry. I don't want any trouble, any cares, anxiety. We don't want to worry. This is worry. Okay. So your hand is kind of going like this. Boom, boom, like you're slapping a fly. Okay. Worry. Okay. So if I have a lot of burden or responsibility that I have things that's on my shoulder. So burden, responsibility, obligations is here. And we can also use this for responsibility. But when people use it and they're trying to say, I have a lot of responsibilities now that I'm the manager of Jack in the Box or some restaurant, I can do the R sign and just do like that for responsibilities or the flat hand for burden, um, obligation. And I can also do this for responsibilities, okay? Pressure, for pressure, um, the book has it making an index finger out, other hand comes on, on top and pushes down for pressure, push down. Now I can, I mostly see pressure where they make a fist and push down for pressure. That's what I'm seeing now for pressure in 2022. Pressure this way. But I know the book has it with the index finger out and going down for pressure. Okay. So let's review again. How would I do invent? I want to invent something and go on Shark Tank. I want to invent something, invent. Very good, invent, invent. Okay. I disagree with you. How do I sign disagree? Remember, I showed you two ways that you can do disagree. Disagree. Very good. From here, and I come apart, or I can just do what? Come apart for disagree. Here, brain, come apart. Second way, just come apart. Disagree. Very good. But I really agree with you. How would I agree with you? Good, great job, agree. You know what? I have a problem. How would I sign problem? I have a problem. Great, you all are doing good. I bend my index finger 
and my middle finger and I have a problem. Just kind of rub them against each other. I have a problem, okay? Problem, all right. Misunderstand. That's why I have a problem because people don't understand me. I have a misunderstanding here. Misunderstand, how would I sign that? Great, great. V hand shape, index finger, okay, to middle finger. Great, good job. Um, understand. Do you understand me? Do you understand? How would you do understand? Great, great. Understand. Um, trying to think. Burden. I have a lot on my shoulders. I'm just, bur I have so many burdens. Great, burdens. And what can I do for responsibility? Change it to an R and do what? Responsibility. Great. You know what? Since I started working at this restaurant, I am under a lot of pressure. My manager is just constantly on my back. I'm under a lot of pressure. How do I sign pressure? Great. Or I can do what? Index finger out and push down for pressure. You all are on it today. You're doing a great job. Great job, great job. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the page and we're gonna to go to um, the, hymn. the next few words, conflict. So when I have a conflict, we're not together. So I'm gonna make um, one finger up, my index finger, conflict, conflict. It's kind of like Xing it out. We have a conflict. Conflict. Okay. If I trust you, I trust you. I'm going to say I trust. I'm going to hold on to like I'm holding on to um, a string or something. I trust you. I trust you. Whether you do it this way or that way, it doesn't matter. But you're grabbing something and you're holding on to it because I trust you, okay? Now, faith that they have in here, I'm gonna show you another way that we do faith, um, a religious way to do faith that I said more in the book. It has from, from the brain to trust, trust. But I see faith more with um, make two Fs and then they come on top of each other like this, faith. This is the way that I see faith now in 2022. Faith, this way. But the book has go from the brain and then, um, I'm sorry, go from the brain and then like supporting the brain and supporting, not, not holding, but the brain and supporting. But I do, I do faith like this on top. Two Fs, one at the bottom, and then on top and kind of bounce it. That's how I do faith. When I believe in something, from my brain to my hand, believe, believe, okay. Um, don't believe or you skeptical, uh, skeptical, not pronouncing it right. You're gonna make a V kind of claw handshake. <clears throat> And in front of your eyes, you're just gonna bring it down. Bring it down, okay? You don't believe something, you're skeptical, okay? Bring it down. Okay, so let's go with conflict. How would I sign conflict? Conflict. It's like, mm -mm, we're, not to, we're not together. Uh -uh, uh -uh. We got a conflict, okay? Kind of exit out. Um, Trust, I trust you. Trust, faith, the way that the book has it here, and then faith, faith, or two Fs and on top of each other, faith. Okay. Believe, believe. We use that a lot in church. 
And then I don't believe. Okay. And I've seen people use this for doubt also. I, I, I doubt you because I, I don't believe that. You just kind of V and just kind of bring it over the bridge of the nose. I, I don't believe you. Okay. Um, on page 55, it has doubt and it's doing more like with the A's here and coming down. I doubt it. But I see more people, instead of doing doubt like this with the A handshake, they do it this way. So you can decide which way um, is going to work for you when you're signing. But both are acceptable in the deaf community. Surprise. Pinch down and then open up. Surprise. Surprise. And I kind of open my eyes up wide. Like you're really surprised. Okay. Uh, seam and appear. You just kind of curve your hand and it's just turning it. Seams appear apparently. Okay. So just a look, a little twist of the hand, apparently seen. Compare is similar, except that you're using both of the hands and you're doing like this. I want to compare. Compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. I want to compare things, see how similar they are or if they're different. I just want to compare. So you're just kind of rotating both hands. Obedience. When I obey somebody and I am obedient, I take what they say from their head and I accept it. My hands are open. Obey. Obedience. Obey. Obedience. Okay. All right. So before we go to the next pages, let's kind of go back. Um, I have faith. Two ways to do faith. I have faith. Okay. Or I can do what? Okay. Remember from here to here, it's the way the book is teaching. And I'm saying most people is going to do it with the F like this for faith. Okay. I trust you. I have trust. Trust. Confidence. I have trust. I am surprised. I am so surprised. I got a brand new car today. Surprise. Okay. I believe everything you said. I believe you. Believe. Okay. I need to compare things. How do I compare? Very good. I doubt that it happened. I'm not sure. I doubt it. Or remember, you can do the V. Okay? Just like don't believe, you can doubt it this way. Okay? I'm going to obey. Everything you want me to do, I will be a good lady. I'm going to obey. Obey. All right. Very good. Let's get the next two pages. Mm -hmm. Disobey. When I disobey, I'm here and I just open it up. What I'm not going to do with disobey, I keep my hands up here because when I obey, I bring my hands down and I'm opening up and I am accepting what you want to tell me. Disobey, I'm not. Just come around. Okay, disobey. When I need to decide on something, from here down, I need to decide. This is the elf handshake. Decide. I've also seen people just do this for decide. Just bring the F hand shape down. The book is saying from the brain, because you're going to decide, you got to think about it, and then come down to make a decision. And I've also seen it 
uh, people sign it without touching the brain, just doing this here, decide, decide. If, if we just touch the cheek, like a little uh, eye to the, to the cheek, I've seen it do here for uh, if. Now in the book, they have the F hand shape and they go on over, but this is what I've seen for faith, for faith. So I am I would say you may wanna look around on that one for the if. I've seen if this, this way for if. Evaluate, you take your E for e evaluate your E and you just kind of go up and down. I'm evaluating, I'm looking it over, I'm evaluating it. Okay, so you're reviewing it. You're going over it, over it. Or, or either, so you have your L hand shape and you go from here to here, either one. Or, neither. So you just kind of going from here. Some people would do like this here, either or. You uh, can decide which way you want to use, which method is going to be comfortable for you. All right. Hold your hand out and just kind of go up. All right. All right. All right. Experience. Experience. It's just like you're kind of rubbing your, your cheek. Experience. You know, I went to Home Depot to get some wood. And the guy that cut the wood was very skillful. He was proficient. He was competent. Have your hand up and you just kind of come off. This is skillful, skillful, competent, proficient, skillful. Skillful. I need proof that um, you baked that cake because you know that cake was good. And I didn't know you can cook like that. I want proof from your mouth to here. I, I want you to prove it. Seal the deal. Proof. Proof. And the last word on these two pages before we start reviewing again is advice. I need counsel. I need advice. So I'm going to have my hand and I'm going to spread the word out, advice. I'm taking it from me and I'm putting the word out, advice, advice, okay, advice. Okay, disobey. How would I do disobey? The hand is, is here at the forehead, and I'm not going to obey. Disobey. Disobey. Decide. There's two ways that I showed you how to do decide. Okay, and what's the second way? Very good. So I can go from here down, or I can just go what? My F fingers and just go down for decide. If I'm just going to do just a little eye to the cheek for you. If, if, and eye to the cheek. All right. How would you do all right? Good. All right. All right. Uh, the lady that gave me a shot was very skillful. She was a good, good person. Very experienced. Skillful. Okay, skillful, very good. Can you give me some advice? I'm having a hard time. Can you give me some advice? How would you do advice? Great, spread it out. Give me the word, spread it out. Good job. Oh, you all are on it today. I need you to evaluate this paper that I wrote. I need you to evaluate the paper that I wrote. Evaluate. Okay, and E and just go up and down. You're going to evaluate it. Good job. Um, I need proof that you wrote the paper. 
I need proof. Great. I'm thinking about either or, either or. Either or, or I can do what? Okay, either or. Okay, great. So we're moving right along. Mm -hmm. Moving right along. So not much more to go. Influence. Influence is similar to advice in that I have my hand here and I'm putting it out, but this time I'm gonna have a wider, a wider circle. So advice just goes out. But if I have an influence of people that I can motivate people and I have a, a big circle, so I influence them, I'm gonna go out and around because my influence, my um, advice is getting around to more people influence okay i need for vanessa lee to pay attention so i got this little box between my head and i just want you to focus in on this area so this is attention pay attention to focus in on this area okay imagination so imagination starts with an i so if I'm going to imagine something, it's coming from my head, I'm thinking about it, and I'm bringing it out into the future, I'm imagining it. For theory, I'm going to make a T, and I just do what? Bring it out. T and bring it out. For fantasy, fantasy starts with an L. So again, I'm going to do what? Bring it out. So I brought imagination out. I brought theory out, and now I'm bringing fantasy out, okay? Foolish. So for foolish, we normally put the Y on our nose, on the like the bridge of our nose, and then you just kind of wiggle it. This is foolish. Foolish, okay? Careless. You take the V hand shape, and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth over the forehead. She's careless. Just, just the V and just kind of wiggle it back and forth over the forehead. When I don't care, I take it off my nose and throw it away. I don't care. Don't care. Okay. When I refuse to do something, I won't do it. It's like, get out of here. I'm, I'm not going to do it. No, I refuse. I won't do it. So it's just taking the A shape. Remember I said in this mental action, a lot of the signs are like A shape, A, V, and the index finger. We're going to be using these shapes a lot. But I just take it and take it over my shoulder. I refuse. And I think of it as like, get out of here. I'm not going to do it. Hit the road. I refuse. Okay. If somebody is stubborn, we have a sign for like a mule where we do two fingers and go down. But when I'm talking about a person that's stubborn, I put my five hand shape up here. But this time my four fingers go down. Stubborn. It's similar to the sign for a mule with a horse. Stubborn. My five fingers go down. When I'm talking about a horse, a mule, I have two fingers. But this person is stubborn. I have a stubborn child. Your four fingers go, go down. Okay? All right. So if I want to say Vanessa Lee is careless, how would you do careless? Very good. My B, a B handshake. And it goes around here, V. Okay, the V up, up and down. Theory. Theory. T starts with a T. Imagination. I have an active imagination mind, imaginative mind. I. Future. Fantasy, F, 
Great. You know what? I refuse to do that. I refuse. Refuse. I need for you to pay attention. How would you sign pay attention? Um, she has a lot of influence. How would you sign influence? Very good, very good. Okay, she's been foolish. She's silly. She's a very silly lady, silly. Okay, great, great. Did we do stubborn? Stubborn? Okay, great. Okay. I think we have three three pages more to go. Okay, almost through here. Let me get my book here together so it doesn't, my pages won't flip over on me. If I want to say that the person is um, re rebellious, they don't... Um, obey or anything like that. I'm going to make my S hand shape and then come out. S and come out. They're like re rebellious. Okay. S and come out. Which is kind of the sign for revolution, but instead of bringing it to the head and come out, you just do it out in the open right here. But if they're rebellious, I'm at the head and come out because rebellious, they have a hard head. As my mom would say, they have a hard head. Okay. Um, our goal mm -hmm. is to go through the, the vocabulary words in this book. So you have a goal and you point to it. That's my goal. So the goal, you find what the goal is, represent it, and then point to it. The goal. So I'm pointing to the goal. This is what I'm aiming for. Okay. When I guess something, guess. It's kind of like you're going to catch it with a C hand shape and then close it. Guess. Guess. From a C to a closed hand shape, guess. Habit. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I, I've seen habit. Now, I know the book says to think about it because it's a habit. You're thinking about it and you're doing it again, and you kind of push it down. Think, push down. I've seen habit more in the deaf community where they have a C hand shape. They start with an open C, they close it and come down. C, close it down. C, and then close it and put it down, push it down as a habit. So I guess it's two different ways you can do it from the brain, to hear and push down, or see, close and push down for habit. Okay. Usually, usually starts with a, a U. So then you're gonna have the U here and you push down for usually. The U and you push down, push your hand down for usually. Okay. Push your hand down for usually. Tradition, T and push the hand down. T and push the hand down for tradition, tradition. If I wanna say, but, however, cross the two index fingers and then bring it off. But, however, okay. Now the next three or four, kind of similar if I want to say I want us to join so I'm going to come together with the index finger and the thumb and I want to join join okay index finger and thumb I want to join kind of like a circle join if I want us to connect me and you to connect we're going to join, but now I'm going to move it back and forth because you and I are what? Joining, okay? Join, this is a connection. 
you and me. So we're going to go back and forth several times. If I want a corporation or something like that, now I'm going to go around in a circle because it's more of us. So it's the joining, but now it's more of us. It's a corporation. Okay. Uh, we all cooperated on this project. We are all together. So I'm including all of us in this join. Okay. When I disconnect from you, I have the join here and I open up. We disconnect. We're no longer connected. We are disconnected. So I break that join. We're disconnected. Okay. So... The person is a rebel. Okay, rebel. They're rebellious. I had a guess. I think that is the right answer. I had to guess on it. Two plus two is four. I guessed on it. Is that the right answer? I made a guess. Guess. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a habit. It's a habit. Maybe I bite my fingernails all the time. It's a habit. Okay. Or I can do the C, close it as I come down and push the hand down. Habit. Usually. Usually. Okay. Usually. Uh, I have a goal to finish this book. I have a goal to finish this book. This is the book. That's my goal. Get through this book. Okay. Um, tradition. Tradition. Do you celebrate any traditions throughout the year? Tradition. tradition but however okay, I would like for us to be united I would like for you and me to have a connection we all cooperated on this program. We all did it together. Okay. We all did it together. All right. Those were these two words. Let's get to the next two pages. If I say not, um, I think of what um, she did not go to the store. Not I'm coming under the chin with my um, the a handshake and the thumb. It kind of not under the chin, and I shake my head. No, not, not, not. Now some people can make an X in their hand. I don't really see them <clears throat> doing that much. I see this more, where you say not, not under the chin with the A handshake. Um, whatever, no matter, we just do this. No matter, whatever, just like this, okay. Honor, you wanna take the H handshake and come down. Honor, honor, respect the R handshake come down, respect, honor, H handshake, respect, R handshake. I want to inform you that tomorrow will be my last day on the job. I take it from my head and I give it to you. I want to inform you, inform you, inform you. Inform. And sometimes people do it and where they inform everybody. Okay? Inform. 
you know what? I am suspicious of you. I'm suspicious. Kind of like crook and uncrook. I am suspicious of you. Like I'm scratching my head. Mm -mm. I don't think so, boo boo. Mm -mm. So suspicious. Dream. Now in the book, it has dream with the index finger and it's kind of coming out. I see people do dream with the D and then bring it out, um, which is the index finger, but they kind of make the D first and then bring it out. So for dream, instead of just index finger bent and come out, they make a D and then bring it out for dream. When I have a vision, I'm going to take um, the S in front of my head and then open it up like this, vision. So I'm going to open it up, start with the S and open it up for vision. S to open vision. If I am puzzled, I, you know, this just puzzles me. Index finger and bring it back to like an X for like a question mark. I'm just puzzled. 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 Okay. Um, food. And you just kind of take an X and go around the nose for food. 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 Okay. Food. I've also seen people um, hold up one hand like this is a person and they just kind of hit, hit the hand for food. Okay. The back of the index finger for food. The book is doing this for food. It's kind of going around in a circle for food. So both of those have been accepted. Okay. So not, how would we do not? Very good, not. I want to inform you that I will be cooking dinner tonight. I want to inform you. Okay. It is my honor. How would you do honor? Honor. Well, no matter, no matter. Okay, nevertheless, regardless, whatever. Okay. I had a dream last night. Dream. Dream. I have a vision. 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 Okay. You know what? I am puzzled about that. I don't understand that. It's, it's got me puzzled. Okay. I suspect something is going on, but I'm not sure what it is, but I suspect something is going on. Okay. Something is going on here. Okay. Right. Okay, you're good. So we're to our last page. And we just have, look at one, two, three, four, four more words. Okay. So deceive. Deceive. When I deceive somebody, I'm going to betray them. So that, um, it's doing like this here for deceive. 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 Betray, deceive, crazy. You know, it's just a lot of craziness. It's kind of round and round in your head. It's just crazy. I'm fouled up. I'm confused. It's your claw-shaped hand, but they're going in opposite direction. I'm confused, confused. And when I take advantage of something, um. It's similar to wind from what they're saying. It's like your hand here, taking advantage of something. And if it's in a negative way, remember how I said this is your feeling finger. So you just bring it back, back to you, back, back. Okay, so this is chapter four, mental action. I hope this helps a lot. 
and uh, we'll try to get chapter five done for you within the next three, three to four days. We'll try to work on chapter five here. Okay. All right. So um, once again, my name is Dr. Vanessa Lee. So I hope you um, enjoyed this and we can work together at church, but um, we will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed it, please um, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. We'll talk with you later. Bye.